This week's flag is South Africa. South Africa's been in news for literally everything uh, this week. It's been in news because it's snowed today for the first time in about a decade. Uh, so um, to all South Africans out there, enjoy the snow. Uh, make the most of it. Uh, but it's also been in news because it's currently in the presidency of uh, the BRICS group. And the BRICS group is a group um, of emerging superpowers that was uh, coined by Goldman Sachs in the uh, early 2000s. And it stands for the first letter of each country in the group, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These uh, 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 these countries together are often seen as the n- rising superpowers and the powers most likely to challenge the current standing order of the USA as a hegemonic power um, and also, also uh, can challenge Europe and the EU as a uh, as a global power. Um, the reason it's in, it's in presence is in news because actually Ethiopia, which is uh, the largest country in uh, in Africa, has uh, applied to join the BRICS organization. Um, and a BRICS organization in some ways challenges the G7 summits that often take place between leading uh, superpowers that are Germany, the, the UK, France, the USA, Canada, Japan and the like. Um, and um, the fact Ethiopia applies to join could be a really kind of uh, highlight to growth of the African market. Uh, Africa is the uh, fastest growing uh, continent in the world population wise. It's the second largest continent in the world uh, um, physical geography wise if that makes sense so um, it'll be really interesting to see if their application is approved because if it is it would completely it would kind of highlight how uh, multipolar our world is becoming which is super powers the topic you do in year 13 at A level and it's a really fascinating time for uh, the emergence of new superpowers um, there's also uh, as South Africa has also been in news because they have a state owned company that runs its electricity uh, and they do so abysmally uh, to the point where um, they cannot guarantee uh, power to all of its citizens and millions and millions of people affected by that obviously that has a huge quality impact on quality of life in south africa um and actually one a side effect of electricity shortages i've not necessarily thought of it it affects the ability of the country to pump uh, water in and out through transfer schemes so actually due to the lack of electricity they're also struggling with lack of water uh, in some major cities because they can't pump water and uh, treat the water effectively okay uh, so yeah south africa has been in news for lots of different reasons positive negative and um and meteorological if that makes sense um and it's a fascinating country with one of the coolest flags in the world